Right, so that's it for the uh, northern shore of Loch Katrin. The next route I want to show you is what's killed the Duke's Pass. Stick around, stay tuned. Okay, so the road I've now joined is uh, technically called the A821, but it's also known as the Duke's Pass. And it's about, I think it's about an eight mile scenic drive in this part of the Trossachs. And the, uh, the road itself was built by the Duke of Montrose to actually give better access to his estate. But actually in Victorian times became uh, more used just as a, an enjoyable leisure type of route, a scenic drive to get people up to Loch Katrin and others. Now this loch you see on my left I think is Loch Achre. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to lose these cars to do the ride. Yeah, let's do that. Now I'm chuffed to have the little uh, CRF with me to be able to do the Duke's Pass on today. But this is one of those roads that would be absolutely brilliant on the little street triple or one of the current breed of naked bikes because there just aren't any straight bits on here. It's just these little nagery twisty roads with loads of undulations. It's absolutely brilliant on a bike. Again, you've got to be careful. You never know what's going to be coming around the other way, but uh, what a hoot. Bit of a workout as well, it has to be said. Yeah! Gosh, it's so much more fun on a motorcycle than in a car. In a car, this sort of road just makes me feel ill. On a bike, it just makes me happy. Rather helpfully, the uh, the bends are nicely cambered as well, so you get a bit of a banked turn, which keeps things nice and easy. <laughs> what a fabulous road! Suddenly the CRF becomes a corner carver. Wow, look at that view over there. Can't really stop to admire it. Or can I? No, there's not. <laughs> and still we climb. I'm really loving the Trossachs. This is a part of Scotland that I just hadn't been to before. And it's surprising because it's not in the Highlands. It's still technically classified as the Lowlands, I think. It's kind of the border where the Lowlands meets the Highlands. And it's not that far from Glasgow. And to have this sort of uh, scenery and roads like 30 miles from Glasgow, something like that, it's just unbelievable. Brilliant fun. I'm very conscious that my battery could run out at any moment. Stunning light now on the heather just falling, it looks beautiful. road. So this is the A821, otherwise known as the Duke's Pass. If you're in the area, make sure you get it on your itinerary. Absolutely stunning. Well, I really 
can't remember the last time I had so much fun on the CRF when the CRF is just a fun bike but I mainly bought it to do green lanes and off-roading but my word it's been such a hoot this evening on this particular drive it's been fantastic wow look at that view down there slow down a bit to enjoy that one So that's the end of the fun on the Duke's Pass, that was absolutely cracking, I loved that. And we're just coming into the little town now of Aberfoyle, where the 821 takes you to. And if you are coming out this way, then make sure you go through Aberfoyle and get yourself some fuel, because there's not many fuel stations around here, but there is one in Aberfoyle. So welcome to Aberfoyle. And if you just come down this little road here, which is the B829, this takes me back to Stronachlache, which is where I started this little loop. This is the third leg of the loop. And this is just, again, a really picturesque little road. Unfortunately, I'm going to be shooting into the sun, so I'm not sure how good the pictures will be down here, but we'll see how we get on. And this takes us past a couple of lochs again, Loch Ard and Loch... Chon, I believe it's called C-H-O-N. I'm hoping we'll get some nice views down there, so stay tuned. See you down there, missus. So this is a lovely little settlement just at the start of uh, Lochard. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, there are some lovely houses up here. Well, certainly this time of year they seem lovely. I'm not sure what they'd be like on a cold February day check out this location absolutely beautiful excellent national speed limit area so if I wanted I could do 60 down here I'm not going to attempt it though because this road is an absolute roller coaster road <laughs> and that Sun is very bright in my eyes as well sadly I can tell you very little about Loch Ard, other than how it's spelt, A-R-D that is, <laughs> in case you were wondering. I've no idea what that means, but maybe any uh, Gaelic speaking viewers can let me know. After riding that Duke's Pass, this feels like a positively major road. Which it is in comparison. It's an absolute hoot though, it's got all these elevation changes. And although I've not ridden down here on the bike before, I've ridden down this, or driven down it in my car, plenty of times in the last few days. And it's something my kids enjoy a lot, I can tell you. As do I. Look at this little spot here, absolutely beautiful. Really idyllic place. lost for adjectives because you know what I'm thinking when I look at these views now you might just be seeing a big old silhouette on this one because that sun is bright I wonder if I can shade you I don't know I love this particular stretch though the way that you're right down by the loch side makes me wonder if this floods at all I don't quite know the mechanics of how these locks work. There appear to be pipes draining into it. So presumably it doesn't flood. Because if it did and this road was rendered impassable, then the few people that need to get down this road would have a big problem. This particular route, as you've no doubt already noticed, is a little bit busier than the uh, north shore of Loch Katrine that I took down to Aberfoyle. There's quite a lot of uh, holiday homes down here and one or two hotels. So you do get a bit of traffic. Thank you. I'm hoping this car will turn off quite soon though, as it thins out markedly towards the northern end of this road. And my wish has come true. 
the Ford Cougar. It's going into that hotel there. Which means it's playtime again. So this little settlement here is called uh, Kinlochard. And again, I've no idea what kin means, but it seems to be, or I've noticed in Scotland that it's associated with locks. There's a place called Kinloch Leven, for example, which is just near Loch Leven. So maybe it just means town on the lock or something like that. Not that you'd describe this as a town. I'm not sure it even qualifies as a village. But it's a lovely part of the world. Well, there's all sorts of little turn-offs on this road. I just passed some, sadly the camera wasn't rolling. Which are like logging areas where they've obviously cleared some space. And there are some tracks and trails through that the logging kit obviously uses as it goes up the mountains. It would just be great fun to do on this little bike. Oop, got a bit of air off the top of that one. But I know from doing a bit of research before I got here that the uh, logging trails just are not open to off-road vehicles. The Forestry Commission doesn't want to open them in that way because I think they just worry that it'll encourage all and sundry to come down here and ride off-road. Which I guess would be a shame, but it would be good fun. Gosh, you've got to be so careful as you go over these peaks. You don't necessarily know which way they're going to go. And you can get a bit of lift off the top of them. Which is a right hoot, it has to be said. So I've left Lochard behind me now. And I'm heading towards uh, Loch Chon. C-H-O-N. I think it's pronounced Loch Chon or Hon. And the road has become one of these single track roads with passing places that uh, when I did the North Coast 500 on my GS, I so hated. But I have to say, on the little CRF are an absolute hoot. And there's the lock on my left, I don't know if you can see it through the trees. Of course, as I'm often saying, you have to be careful because you never know what's coming the other way. But these roads are just brilliant on the CRF. It's a bit disconcerting as you come up to those little peaks because you can't tell which way the road's going to go. Is there a photog photographic moment? Let's have a look. So it's another area where they've also been doing some logging work. And there we have it down there. I won't actually go down because it might be a bit of a pain to turn around and come back up. Lovely spot though. turn in there, oh no, just a little lay by, I thought it might be another trail. Oh, what a beautiful view. Oh, a straight bit, that's a bit rare. I've actually found some traffic. This isn't good. Thank you, sir. Rather sport me fun. I was really enjoying that up to that point. Cracking little road, the B821. If you find yourself in the Trossachs area, do yourself a favour and if you can, do that little loop. The Duke's Pass and then the B821 up towards uh, the head of Loch Katrin. Absolutely brilliant ride. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Right, another bit of manoeuvrage required. Could this be my chance to overtake? Yes, it could. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at those trails down there. Well, I'm nearly back at my uh, base for the next few days. Thoroughly enjoy this little ride out once again. I hope you have too. 
I hope I've managed to give you a bit of the flavour of the Trossachs and what awaits you here just 30 miles away from Glasgow. It's absolutely splendid. Look at this place. A wilderness if it wasn't for those pylons. So that's it for this time. Hope you've enjoyed that little ride out and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Until then, this has been the Missenden Flyer. Cheerio. I love Scotland.